cash. Watch out, watch out, pop out. Look at me, I got a knot now. I ain't got the money to knot now. What is good job boys man it's your boy d knight back again with another video man i got a different type of video for y'all boys today something more exciting all right so this camera set up um you guys you guys won't be focusing on me today you'll be focusing on the screen right here so here in the screen i got a quick little mock-up or sketch of a fitted right so basically what i'm gonna do is just show y'all guys how to create a fitted from scratch definitely um, approved. so a lot of you guys do know that i am a graphic designer so this is not going to be perfect. This is just a little rough draft, something quick for the video. Um, just to give you guys an idea of what it takes to make a fitted. All right. So um, here I right now, I am an illustrator. So, oops. so what I'm going to do here is drag this on top. Um, I'm going to actually get rid of this layer. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate the first layer and I'm gonna lock that one I got this Texas Rangers logo here so I think what I want to do is is, is kind of create my own hat but with this logo right here so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this logo first I'm gonna just have it here just for the color scheme just for the color scheme of things all right so for this hat, I think I want to do, I think I want to do an off-white crown with a, a blue brim and a red UV. So I'm going to also grab me a MLB Batterman. I'm going to also grab me a Batterman right quick. Something real quick, something just throw back there. Perfect. We'll take, we'll take this right here. Why not? Same color, match it up. All right, boom. So we got the Batman, we got the logo, and then we need a side patch. So I'm gonna do Texas. Actually, what what, what I got it right now? Um, Texas Rangers 1995, I think. Let me see. Boom. So we got the patchwork right here, but I need a PNG. I don't feel like cropping it out, so I need something quick. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with the original label. So I'm gonna just grab this right here. Really simple. Really simple, really simple. It's not the exact colors, but you know, you, you guys get the gist of it. Your boys, bro, walking. It's not gonna be the same exact color, but you guys get the idea. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab this right here. Alright, I'm gonna this right here and I'm gonna change this color to a little lighter. Um that's almost it. Something a little lighter yeah, definitely than that still. Yeah. Just don't want it to be completely white. Alright, bet. So we got that. Um, we're gonna select everything and then we're gonna go to merge. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this color that you put on top. You're gonna right click it and you're gonna go to arrange send to the back so you know you did it right if you look in this and you see your black outline is on top of the color all right so now that you got that going on you're going to select everything you're going to go to your pathfinder and you're going to click merge so what this does is it gives you separate panels for every separate thing so what do you want to do first is you want to get rid of this outline so give you that solid color um so what we want to do is we're just going to take this eyedropper tool um where that boy at right here and we're just going to take the colors from the logo so i'm going to take this blue actually no first off we're going to take this right here and we said we want to do a blue burn 
So we're gonna do a blue, blue brim. And we're gonna do a blue brim for all of them. All right. So get up in here. Obviously, obviously a blue brim for all of them. Duh, D night. And this is just off the top of the dome. So that's all the blue brims, right? And this is just off the top of the dome, like I said. Like this is just me just playing around off of just, you know, eyeballing everything. Uh, so I'm going to take my logo. So I have these logos here. So I'm gonna make another layer and I'll put this all the way at the top. Just so my logos are always on top of everything. So it doesn't get lost. Boom. So my logo here, you see that? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna just throw it on the top real right quick. And I'm not sure, it's not gonna look perfect, but you know what I mean? It's, it's gonna give it a, give you guys a gist and make it a little bigger. Um, circle logos are some of my favorite yeah. logos. Um, what you guys think? I think that's a good size. I think that's actually pretty good. Pretty close at least. Uh, we're gonna take our batterman right here, man. And we're gonna size that down. I'm not sure about the sizings for all of these. I'm gonna just make them as close as possible. Um, and then we're gonna grab that. Go ahead and then we're also gonna go ahead and grab that side patch. I know, like I said, the color on this isn't exact, um, but it's close enough. And yeah, I see this little like beige color under that's still seeping through. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change that to, I think we said we're gonna do red or green. I'm, I'm gonna do a green first, just to see. Sorry, do a solid green. Just to give it a, give it a little look, see, see what it's talking about. So far, not really feeling it. So, I like green brim, so I just wanted to test it out. I would do either like a red or a gray. I think red would be pretty good. Um, but always remember to use your eyedropper tool for this so your colors are always exact. Um, so I'm gonna do a bright red for that right there. I think that'll go crazy. And don't mind this black hole, it's just for the inside of the brim. It may throw it off a little bit, but like I said, this is a, just a rough, rough sketch. Approved, so. yeah. Just for video purposes. Can do way better than this this is just this is just play 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 right here so we're gonna grab that eyedropper tool again make sure that uv is red and then this is the last one i think right there. oops all right good so really quick i mean kind of a you know kind of a quick little sketch um, this is what the hat would look like. Um, and I'm gonna grab this right here. And then we get like a side view of it basically. Um, and what I would do with this right here is I would just cancel that out. I do hide high photo just so you can be able to go in and edit it let it download let it let it process real quick then you do your expand you go in take the white out Boom. and then as you do that you would erase this and you don't have to worry so much about this because the layer so when you're erasing you don't really have to worry about you know going in and messing up the lining for the outline because it's, it's on a layer so as long as you lock that layer while you're coloring and put your coloring layer on a separate layer you should be fine so it's not like I said it's gonna be really rough um, so that's what it would look like from the side um, and what I'm gonna do with this batterman right here, actually, let me unlock this. I right, just, um, this new era logo, I'm actually take it out because it's killing me. Um, when I did the high, the, the when I did the transfer, it, it kind of like messed it up. This, oh, 
all together. And then I'm gonna grab, let's see, eyedrop tool. And I'm just gonna color with this drum. Just fill it back in. Or I could have just got the paint tool, or the box tool, and just put a box over it. Boom. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get a new era PNG logo. Um, so they're playing games. Okay, but here you go. Alright, boom. So we got the new era logo here. Um, what I want to do is I don't want to keep that same color it is so we're gonna go to sketch it's gonna take away the white leave it with a solid black size it down to the right sizing boom oh, it's bugging. so we're gonna go in and size this down to the right size that we want um and i think i want to do this new era I think I'm gonna do, let's just see what blue looks like for the time being. Um, so that's what blue looks like. I actually think blue looks good. Yeah, let's put it to the right side so you guys can see it zoomed out. Boom. So this right here is, this is, a, this is a prototype of a hat that you guys will see. So I personally kind of like this. Kind of just just playing around like I wasn't even really like getting serious, but this could really be a this could really be a fire hat. Like I don't really see, I don't ever see Texas hats with this specific logo. So to for this to actually be a logo on a hat would be crazy. Um, but yeah, man. Um, you know, quick little video for you guys, man. Something different. Um, please comment down below, man. Let me know if you like these kind of videos, man. Um, give me some ideas. Give me team ideas. Give me your favorite movies, your favorite video games, whatever, and I can try and make a hat on it. Uh, let's make it a series or something. Um, so, I uh, appreciate you guys tapping in. You already know, man. Always showing love. It's your boy D-Night, man. I'm out of here. Cash. Love, love, love. Watch out, watch out, pop out. Look at me, I got a knot now. I ain't with the money to knot now. Fuck school, I should've dropped out. They said it's too late to stop now. I was working, you was knocked out. You thought I was about to cop out. D night, nigga, know what the fuck it is. Yeah, I know.